In the digital abstraction lecture, I discussed how we design digital systems to be resistant to noise so that we can abstract the voltages to be ones and zeros. Unfortunately, errors still occur during data transmission of many bits, so we need to figure out ways to detect and potentially correct these errors. To understand how we correct and detect errors, let's start by discussing a concept called the Hamming distance. The Hamming distance between two code words is the number of bits that are different between two valid code words. The Hamming distance of a code as a whole is the minimum Hamming distance between all code words. Suppose that we want to send just one bit between two components. The Hamming distance between these code words is 1, as only one bit is different between these two code words. Since these two code words are the only words in the code, the distance of the code is also 1. When the Hamming distance of the code is 1, the receiving component can never detect an error. Because if a bit changes, the receiving component will still receive a valid piece of information. Let's change our code so that it still has two code words, but now each code word consists of two bits. We would still have two valid code words, but the Hamming distance for this code would be two because each code word differs by two bits. In this situation, there are two potential bit encodings that would be invalid. If an error with one bit occurs, the receiving component would know that an error occurred because the received message does not match valid information. However, the receiving component cannot correct the error because the error has an equal Hamming distance from both valid code words. If we add one more bit, we would have two valid code words whose Hamming distance would be 3 and a code with Hamming distance 3. We would also have six invalid code words. In this situation, the receiving component could still detect if an error occurred in one bit. But now, because the erroneous word has a Hamming distance from one valid code word that is less than the distance from the other, we can correct the error. Let's add one more valid code word to our code. If we simply add a code word at this vertex, the overall distance of our code is 1, because the minimum distance between any two code words is 1. It is irrelevant that this code word here is distance 2 from this one, or that this code word is distance 3 from this one. This code can neither detect nor correct an error reliably, because the Hamming distance of the code is determined by the minimum distance, which is 1. However, if we are creative, we can create a similar code that can encode three valid code words that all have a Hamming distance of 2. This code would have an overall Hamming distance of 2 and can correct an error in one bit. Unfortunately, it cannot correct any errors. Now, how do we intelligently increase the distance between two code words so that we can detect errors? Naively, we could increase the distance by sending a message multiple times. The receiving component would detect the error by simply comparing the two sets of bits. However, this method is ineffective, and it requires a lot more hardware and would become expensive very quickly. Alternatively, we could require that the transmitting component send an even or odd number of 1 in its transmission. In this case, we would simply add one more bit to the transmission, and we would set this bit to be a 1 or a 0, depending on the number of 1s in the original transmission. If we want an odd number of 1s for the transmission, we would add a 0. The strategic addition of a parity bit in a code can increase the Hamming distance of the whole code by 1, and enables to detect and potentially correct more errors. Parity bits can be quickly and easily implemented by using the XOR operation. 
The XOR operation can be thought of as an odd even detection operation. So if we XOR all inputs variables together, the XOR will output a 1 if there was an odd number of 1s, and it would output a 0 if there is an even number of 1s. This output would signal whether an error occurred. Alternatively, we could use the complement of the XOR operation, the XNOR operation, to flag errors. The XNOR operation would output a 0 if there was an odd number of 1s, and it would output a 1 if there was an even number of 1s. If you experiment with the Hamming distance for various codes, you will find that as the distance between code words increases, you can detect and correct more errors within the transmission of these codes.